Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. To add a new contact to the contacts folder, you must first open the contacts folder from the navigation pane. Then click the new contact button in the standard toolbar or simply double click into the blank space inside of your contacts folder pane. Either way, that will bring up the contact window where you can then enter in the details for the contact. In the contact window, you enter all of the information that you wish to keep about the contact into the available fields. In the show group on the contact tab in the ribbon, you can click the general button to display general information fields in the main contact area. You can then fill in the information that is generalized such as the contact's name, address, email, and phone numbers. As you fill it in in the available fields, you'll then see it appear in the business card preview which is displayed towards the upper right panel. So let's look at creating a contact. You can start by typing their full name into the full name box or clicking the full name button which then allows you to input each piece of information individually. You can then input their company. And their job title. You can then input their email, and that's going to be necessary. Note that you can also click the email button to choose from different address books that you might have available, such as the contacts folder that currently exists, or any other address books that are available. Note that you can click the drop down button to actually input several email addresses if needed. So if they have a primary email address, you can enter that. And note that then you can use the drop down to choose a different email and enter that. You can then enter their web page address and their IM address into the two boxes that are provided. In the phone number section, once again, you can enter their business, home, business facts, and mobile phones by default. Also note that you can click the business phone to check the phone number and input city area code, local number, and extension individually, just like you can with their names. Also, you can click the drop-down arrows to choose from all the various phone numbers that are available. So you don't have to just do the business home and business fax and mobile. You can do any of these. Callback, car, assistant, other fax, pager. Same thing for the addresses. You can input their mailing address into the box provided. Or you can click the business button and then input the address details. Once again, when you've input the details, click OK, and you'll see it appear in the box. Also note that one of the many addresses that you can enter should be checked as this is the mailing address, and that will allow you to use the information with mail merging from Word. Then use the drop-down to choose the home address or the other address, so you can enter up to three addresses for each contact. Then in the notes section you would enter any generalized notes and you can see the information appear in the business card preview in the upper right corner of the window. Now note that you can click the details button in the show group on the contact tab to then show detailed information like the contacts department and assistance name. And once again you can go through and fill in these fields if desired. Also notice that you can click the all fields button in the show group on the contact tab in the ribbon 
in order to select a type of field information to enter by using the Select From drop-down. All of the fields categorized under the selected field type will be displayed. You can then enter or edit the information in the fields using these drop-downs. Also note that you can scroll down to User Defined Fields and then click the New button at the bottom of the All Fields view to create new types of data fields to store whatever information you would like to about the contact. You can store this custom field information just like you store their name and email address. So you would give the field a name, choose a type of data that it will store, and then choose a format. Then you would click OK to create the new field. Now whenever you've finished entering all of the necessary information that you would like to keep about your contact, just click the Save and Close button in the Actions group on the Contacts tab within the ribbon. You can also click the Save and New button instead to save the entry and then create another new blank contact window. So that's useful when you're creating multiple contacts in a single session. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!